Sometimes when you are making an HTTP request to a third-party server API or your own API but from a different domain server, you will probably get this annoying error. By the end of this episode, you will have a better understanding of why course error is occurring, what is course, and find a few ways to fix it. Here is a sample HTTP request in JavaScript and you can see I am making a request to Google Places API. Let's run it and I got the course error. So what's happening? Well, the browser is blocking the response from the Google server API saying that the output response object does not have an appropriate header to let the browser to be okay with getting data from a different domain. So why is that? By default, browsers will only allow communication between client and server to share data as long as they are from the same origin or domain, which is called same origin policy. Wait, how come there are no issues with getting response data when I type the exact URL in the address bar on the browser? Well, this is because when you are typing a specific URL on the browser address, you are on the correct domain and the request you are sending is to the same server that you are going to get a response from. In my case, Places API. Now you know why course error occurs. Let's see what is course. CORS stands for Cross Origin Resource Sharing. It's a security mechanism that will let any client to share or consume data from any domain. Most of the APIs these days have CORS enabled by default as they are meant to be consumed by a different origin or domain. But it's not true in all the cases. So let's see how to fix the CORS error. There are few options that you can use to fix it. The first one is to enable CORS on the server. Let's say you have a front-end app and server-side API in two different domains that you manage. For example, domain A.com and domain B.com. You can simply enable course by adding the following headers to the response object, probably in the middleware on the server-side API to let the browser know that you have enabled course. If you add it to the client request, it won't work and it has to be added to the response object on the server side and everything will work fine. But what if I am trying to get data from a third party API like, like Google Places API that I do not have access to their server side code to enable course. In that case, you can make an HTTP request from your own server rather than the client. This is because same origin policy is not applicable when server to server communication is happening. Here is a sample HTTP request from node.js to the Google Places API. I am using Axios HTTP client and you can see I got the data without any issues. What if you want to make an HTTP request from the client but not use your own server? You can totally do that using a proxy server. Here is the URL link for that, https slash slash course hyphen anywhere dot roku app dot com. All you have to do is to append this proxy server link to the Google Places API URL and it works magically. I know there are more ways to handle course errors. Let me know what your choice is in the comment section below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in a next video.